Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Minions and we're back and today we are going to be talking about the one leak that Ana has made uh, in regards to Beastmas Part 2 as well as just in general and another topic that I did not address address about some hacks. But without further ado, let's begin. So, the first leak was the only leak we got which was of an icon that I believe appeared in his inventory and that is the Coco Bell icon. It looks pretty cool. It has an orange line, has an orange circle, you know, has a coconut in the middle, has white coconuts, and this red and blue, kind of like the, uh, kind of like the red and blue uh, guards that we now have. And the only statements that Onnit has made in regards to this is, I'm adding the coconut belt for now as a step between the pedal belt and the more expected endgame belts whenever if they get added. The next thing he said is someone asked him, will you release the belt today? And on it responded with no with the Beastmas Part 2 stuff. Not sure exactly when yet. And I believe the last one was it'll cost around the Tide Popper Dark Scythe range pr price range and have a new passive. And he said he would explain more when he's testing. Which means that uh, it's going to be expensive. I really hope he doesn't. I truly hope he doesn't make it. Like super expensive to the point where like it caught please on it no swirl boxes please i no i already crafted the tide popper i don't need to craft 50 more swirl boxes for this thing no thank you no i don't need that no thank you going into the second thing uh the second thing is something that i'm not sure if anyone has mentioned uh based on some of the videos i've seen i don't think anyone has mentioned it i could be wrong but on it uh, recently, uh, you might have seen a message pop at the top of your screen that um, uh, scared a couple of people. So there were two messages that were sent that scared a couple of people. So the first one was a global announcement of exploits that basically read warning, use of hacks, is script, injection, script injection or teleporting may result in your file being permanently reset. Uh, this, uh, this message is being sent to everyone as a PSA. And the next, uh, the next uh, message was sent. It said, "Don't worry, you didn't trigger that warning. It got sent to everyone." And uh, on it actually made an announcement. And uh, the screenshot reads: "Using uh, script injectors or hacks in BSSS may result in a permanent file reset." Here are common responses to questions people have about file resets. As of right now, it only resets accounts that have been flagged an extremely high number of times. It is not falsely resetting people, made even less likely of how lenient the flag thresholds are. At any time, the thresholds and methods for deleting hack for detecting hacks may change. The only guaranteed way not to be reset is not to hack. Macro programs that perform only actions that a regular player could perform will not reset you. Programs that only perform actions permitted by unmodified client site code are not detected and don't trigger resets. What he's saying there is if you auto click or you macro like I do, you're safe because that is not hacking. FPS unlock unlockers will not reset you. It isn't flagging for things that don't affect gameplay. So there's this thing that's like a Roblox FPS unlocker that basically what it does is you can you can set your frame rate to I believe 30 frames per second, 60, 120, and above. Um, but I think one of the reasons that people download those things is to basically limit their frame rate to 30 FPS because if you're macroing and you have it on 60 FPS it might like drain more batteries from what I heard. So if you cap your frames at 30, you cap it at 30 frames per second, not only can you prevent like lag spikes or hitches, I believe, but you'll also get a more consistent like macro run, if that makes sense, because you're capping it at 30 frames, so it can't go above that. Um, if you are certain you were falsely reset, you can ping me with an explanation of what happened. If you lie about being falsely reset, you are permanently banned from Discord. There is no guarantee of having in-game purchases return after a file is reset for hacking. I'm making an exception for this reset wave, but the purchases won't be returned until the release of Beastmas Part 2 things. I'm not sure when that is. Future resets will not have their purchases returned. So as I said, uh, people who hacked are getting their stuff reset, but uh, people's purchases are being refunded. So if they bought any packs, they're getting them back, which I think is very nice of on it. Considering they're literally hacking and he's not banning them, so again, very nice of on it. Because uh, most games, the minute you get you do something, even if you bought packs, like if you guys know a YouTuber, um, 
goes by the name of Flamingo. He does a bunch of videos that he goofs around, he trolls, and he gets banned from a lot of games, and he wastes like thousands of Robux doing that type of stuff, and they don't give him a single cent back. So the fact that Onan is willing to return the purchases of people that are hacking and exploiting in his game is uh, very kind of him because he could very much so he he is in the full right of just not giving a single cent to these people that are clearly just breaking the rules so whatever uh there's uh let's see here hacking a vip service treated identically to hacking public servers bss is an mmo your file can impact other players and there's no practical way for me to lock accounts to single player vip servers so essentially saying if you hack in public or private servers you're still getting banned because it doesn't matter what, whatever progress you make in the private server, you're still gonna have it in the public server, so you're still getting banned. Um, and yeah, that's really everything I have to talk about in terms of the leaks and everything. Business Part 2 is still undetermined. I don't know when it's gonna come. Uh, all we know is that it's going to come with the Cocoa Belt, and uh, that's really it. If I can get myself into the test realm, that would be great. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> thank you, and uh, if you made it this part, thank you for uh, supporting me. 50k views on a video alongside 500 plus subscribers is not exactly what I was expecting. Thank you. The Q&A will come soon, hopefully. Um, and yeah, I guess that's really it. There's nothing much to do. Uh, I guess just wait until Beastman's Part 2, because that's really all there is to it right now. Keep macroing, keep grinding. Beastman's Part 2 shall come soon. Ah, <sighs> thank you all so very much for watching. <laughs> if you did just enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. And comment down below what do you think about the new Coco Belt? What do you think about on it resetting the hackers and all this stuff? Because I think this is the first time on it has really publicly talked about the hackers and acknowledged what he's doing about them. So yeah, and uh, yeah, I will see you all later for another video. Bye.